Hey there, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We come bearing glad tidings of joy. Please tell someone to tell someone that the Flaming Sword Ministries International now has an app. Yes, we just launched an app where you and your loved ones can watch all our exciting and life-changing movies and talk shows for free. You heard right. It's absolutely free at no cost to you. The Flaming Sword Ministry app is completely personalized for you. It features our short and full-length movies, talk show programs, and music videos. It's user-friendly, easy to navigate, and the picture quality is top-notch, HD quality. Android users can download the app from Google Play Store. iOS users can download the app from the Apple App Store. What are you waiting for? Head on now to the App Store to download the app today. And remember to spread the word. God bless you. Hello, lovers of Flaming Sword Ministries. We're back again with an exciting news for you. Have you ever wondered how nice it would be for you to be able to buy and download Flaming Sword books online from our own app? We have! And that's why we have just launched a Flaming Sword ebook store where you can purchase and download our daily drama devotional and other materials that will sharpen your spiritual mind and strengthen your walk with the Lord. The Flaming Sword Ministry online ebook app is completely personalized just for you. It is user friendly with no lags, drags, or annoying glitches. Android users and iPhone users, what are you waiting for? Please head on to your Google Play Store or App Store to download the app today. And remember, remember to spread the word. God bless you. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. I don't deserve the applause alone. It belongs to all of us. Can you now see that hard work really pays? We all did good job, so we deserve it. And like I said, you have seen that hard work really pays. Um, I will do myself a disservice if I say that I am not aware what each and every one of you put in while we were vying for the project. Even though some of you went the extra mile to put in more efforts and it showed in your salaries. <laughs> so, I thank you. And like I want to say once again, hard work really pays. Yeah, and God factor. <laughs> yeah. God factor, sir. Yes, but... <laughs> Without hard work, you can achieve anything. On earth, in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, without hard work. <coughs> even the devil can't achieve anything. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, Francis, it's um it's understood. Right, um so let's just say conclusively that let us go ahead and work harder so it can get tighter and then we can make more successes and then we can be all happy thank you very much right, let's give it to the boss trusted in chariots calculations in our minds with that we got things figured out we tried to help you god but little did we know it's best to let you have your way Trusting in you day by day That's the only way Lord, we are running to you Please save the day We don't want to go Francis, I think that was a beautiful meeting today That was a wonderful one The boss actually nailed it 
And you know one thing I love about the meeting now? Uh -huh. The way the team is working together is really, really good. I'm beginning to think that that's actually this, one of the secrets of our success in this company. Perfect. And um, before I forget, I noticed something about your reaction in the meeting today. I observed that your reaction changes immediately the boss spoke about hard work. But it was right. Yeah. You always notice my body language. Anyway, that was really bothering me. He always acclaimed every success to hard work, removing God's factor out of it. And he's a Christian. Francis, so yeah. don't start again. Hard work and diligence is actually the major factor in our success in this company. In fact, Proverbs 22 verse 29 says, See a doubt a man that is diligent in his business. He shall stand before king. He shall not stand before me, men. So what are you talking about? I don't have any issue with that Bible verse. But mind you, diligence outside God doesn't last. Anyone that overlooks the hand of God in his or her sources will just walk, walk and... Spare me, Francis. Spare me of all that. Spare you may, me. You may not want to agree with me, but See, that's just the truth. Diligence and hard work is a secret to us in this company. And all you need to do is just to pray for the boss. And I think we are getting late to from me. We need to get back to our office. I'm not so, arguing that, but the God's factor is very important. Well, I mean, for me, just be diligent and pray for the boss. I'm really hungry. That was a long meeting. Calculations in our minds. With that we got things figured out. We tried to help you, God. But little did we know. Left me, I won't bother about it. So I just, I won't go scared. Hello, guys. Welcome, darling. Huh? Ah, ah. What is it that you are doing on this phone call? Sandra, you're always pressing. What are you pressing? Eh? At least stand up and give your mommy a hug now. If you don't hug me, I won't give you what we got for you. Oh, oh, oh. so because. I got something for you. That's the reason you want to give us a hug. No. Stop no. that behavior. Stop it. I, I told you. They, I said they were going to act this way. You said it. Children, I heard there's a new iPhone that uh, just came to town. Oh yes, it came out like three three days ago. No, I know no. you would know. Mm -hmm. You know everything about social media, about phones. <laughs> I wish you knew your Bible like that. <laughs> Anyways. Your dad and I have decided to cash up some money into your accounts so you can get the new phone. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mommy. Thank you so <laughs> much, out. Daddy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Huh? Uh, I'm going in. I need you to so meet me. Okay. Let them be. Mom, when will you I, cash out me the money? I don't even understand children of nowadays and this phone thing. God help them. Mm. My friends will respect me so much at the party tomorrow. They'll be so jealous. <laughs> I trust you. I'm gonna give this phone to my girlfriend. Maybe she'll let me go down on her. Are you for real? <laughs> sure. She loves money. Mm, that's true. I trust you. Yeah, babe, I cannot believe he gave me 2K for just a few hours. No, 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 no. Parents' money is nothing compared to the money you get with your own sweat. So, I value this 2K more than I value all the hundreds and thousands of dollars that my parents gave me. Yeah. Really? When will you introduce him to me? The party? You know how my parents can get, but okay, I'll work around it, I'll work around it. Really? <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, okay. I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Is everything okay? You never come to my room without knocking. No problem. I just need a favor. Of course you do. I, I don't have any money. No, I just need you to call Esther and tell her that I'm sick. That means you're having another person over. Well, we need to use a different excuse this time because we've used that excuse like twice before. Well, I can't think anything on the top of my head. How about I call her and I ask her if you're with her 
because we've been calling your phone all day and we couldn't find you. So we can see, yeah, that, that's perfect. We can see if she'll fall for that. Sandra, Sandra, the true genius liar. Is that a compliment or an insult? No, no, that's a compliment. Okay. Could you please call Esther now? Okay, okay, I'm somewhere right now, okay? I'll call you as soon as I leave. Alright? Okay, bye bye. Take care. I've been waiting for you to get off the phone. <laughs> it's done, my it's just get... See this MacBook? It's the latest. Can you see specifications? <laughs> yes, it's nice. And it's so expensive. Mm -hmm. But if I may ask, what do you need that for? Hmm. I'm thinking about getting it for my kids, too. Especially Steve. You know he's into IT. Computer guru. <laughs> yes, I know. But if I'm not wrong, I thought you got him a new laptop about 10 months ago when you traveled outside of the country. Uh -uh. That was 10 months ago now. <sighs> my dear, I want to get my kids the best of the best. <laughs> you know they go to very expensive schools. Where the woo of woo in the whole nations go to. The sports brats, the president's children. I don't want my kids to feel like they don't have what they need to. So that, and I don't want them to be lured into any kind of immorality. It's best I give them everything that money can buy. My friend, I know you're doing everything in your power to make sure they get the best of everything. But getting them expensive stores or whatever they want it's not the best way to go. So are you telling me that restraining them from everything that is good is what is right? Look, I don't want my kids to start begging people for anything. Though. I want them to get the best of the best. You get me? Hmm. If you truly love them, you will not get them everything that they want. Because of availability of everything, at their disposal doesn't mean you should get them. Uh, they might not value it. I get you, my friend. I get what you're saying. I understand your point. Okay. However, raising kids is not an easy task. Everyone trains up their children in different ways. Hmm. It doesn't make you right, neither does it make me wrong. To each its own. Okay? <laughs> well, the Bible in Proverbs 22 6 says, Train up a child the way it should grow, that when they grow old, they will not depart from it. Just show them the way that even when bad people come to influence them, they won't, you know, they won't be lured into it and they'll be able to avoid that. My dear, I get you on that, my friend. We go to church every Sunday, and we are Christians. We got that part covered. Do you go to church with your children, and are they active in church? Not really. You know our church service starts very early. So sometimes they don't go. They just connect online. Online? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought your house is not too far from the church. Mm -hmm. I know they have 8 o'clock classes. Do they not attend those classes in school? Their lectures start at 9 a.m. Uh, they are not used to waking up that early. Hmm. Okay, my friend. Before I forget why I came, let me show you the material. And you get the one you have. And let's compare to see if that's now the one. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. Talk oh my God, that is so beautiful. Yeah, okay. So go get the one you have. And yeah. Let me go get the ones that I have so we can go here. Okay. It all worked out with a hey, 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 hey. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Yes, call me, call me. You know what? Let, let me call you back. We did let me uh, let me call you back. I will call you back. I will call you back. Call you back. Yeah. Yo, good morning, sir. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Sir, I just came back from the D and D company. Okay. 
And my friend made me to understand that we really have a great competitor. Are you sure? Yes, sir. In fact, I was told that one of the companies bidding for the same project. They are actually related to the MD. Are you serious? Yes, I think, sir. We need to pray even at the same time while we prepare. Please pray. Yes. Prayer is not what we need in this matter. We need get me Francis. Okay. And one other person that can do over time. Okay, sir. We need people who are ready to sacrifice anything for us to win this project. All right, sir. So get somebody. If we need to work late, I'll be here with you. Okay. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. Let me let me give you this. Here is my credit card. Okay. You guys go and fill your tummy. Oh, okay. Enjoy yourself. All right, sir. But be mindful of time. Probably an hour should be okay for you. I'll be here waiting for you. Okay, all right, sir. You should come here. When you're done, come to my office and then we'll take it from there. All right, sir. I will get all of them and then Please we'll be back here. Get, get them. Com right, competition. We trusted in our strength, but now it feels we're sinking deep. Cause you're not in this ship, Lord, we are running to you, please. Mom, it's 10 p.m. It's really late. Where's Daddy? He's usually home by now. Oh, my dear, I forgot to tell you. Dad called earlier and let us know that he's coming. He will be running late tonight. But why? Oh, there's a new project that he's working on. Hard work. Mm-hmm. You can say that again. We trusted in chariots. Hey guys, I need to get there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Francis, okay. yes, sir. Right, sir. I just stumbled on something now which I think can help you. Oh, so, you guys just take a look at that. Ooh. If you have to copy it, mm -hmm. copy it into your flash drive, okay. and then let's roll. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, it's almost 10, and I think I want us to be here out by 11 o'clock. So whatever guys you guys need to do, do. Okay. While you're at your thing, you please excuse me while you're doing your stuff. I need to listen to some good cast. That's fine.
哥的万人迷我去！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！哈哈哈哈哈！<laughs> we are going to check on the children, and then you are crying. Is there something you are hiding from me? <laughs> These children are not giving me peace. <laughs> From one trouble to the other every time. So they are the reason for this. Your mood. Oh. We won't relent. As for me, oh I need to go and get some sleep. Mm. Let's go to the room. And sleep. I have to be in the mm. office very early tomorrow morning. Hard work. Hard work. I need to get some rest. So, I really don't want to look. We trusted in our strength. Now it feels we're Cause you're not. Uh, can someone just give us one, one song? Ah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Jesus, you have done for us. Oh, yes. hmm. Jesus, hmm. you have done for us what no man huh? can do. Sure. You have done for us what no man can do. You have done for us. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not. Yes, 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 yes. Congratulations. I am glad that we won the contract. Yes. And I actually want to specially thank Peter and his team thank for you. putting on a lot of hard work. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Without hard work, yeah. you won't have anything. So, like I always say, the only thing that will make us go stronger and get stronger is hard work. Yes. So in everything we do, let's put hard work to it. That's what I have to say. Hard work. Hard work. And then I... Uh, you know what? I think um, one more thing. Um, we have another contract that is coming. Mm. But that one, I don't think we can bother our heads. <laughs> it's irregular. Uh, it's a company we've been working for. Oh. And they are the ones that will call us to come and meet. So that one is not something that I think we should waste our time and mm. energy. That one is a sure banker. So you guys go to your tables. Let's see what one or two things that we can reintroduce into the contract that will make it ours. And uh, as you go, mm. let's not forget our slogan. Mm. Hard work is the only secret to success. To success. To success. Congratulations. 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 That was good. We had it all worked out. I still can't believe I lost this contract. I was too sure it would be given to Ross. Ah! So sad it was given to a company that started just last year. How are you doing, sir? Are you alright, Mr. Johnson? Are you okay, sir? Are you sure? I just received a call from D and D company, and they said they. Can you believe we lost the contract we'll be there for? Not again! Not again! Wow! I just received a call from D and D company. The the company has shut down and all contract has been cancelled. Ah. 
Oh my money! No. Help! 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 With the Help! Help! What's going on? Mr. Johnson! Is it, is it Mr. Mr. Johnson! What's going on, Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson. Mr. Johnson, are you okay, Mr. Mr. Johnson? Wake Johnson. up, wake up, Mr. sir. Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, yeah, he's back, he's back. Are Mr. Okay, Johnson, sir? are you okay? Now it feels he's back. Ah, oh, praise God. Cause you're not in this sheep, Lord, we I don't get it. We give you everything, everything that you asked for, just because we did not want you to be wayward. What else do you want? Mom, I'm sorry. The children that make their parents proud and happy don't have two heads. So I'm not even as privileged to have half of what you have. Mom, we're sorry. Shut up your mouth! I'm tired of hearing that! That has become your answer by your logo! Every time you're sorry, you're sorry, you're sorry! Say something else! I am tired of you guys! Eh, it's not about being sorry. Just like a mother said, turn a new leaf, make us happy. Then we will know that you are feeling sorry. We're not as bad as half our friends. I can. Him and his siblings go drinking, doing drugs, don't come home for weeks at a time, and they're mad at us. Do you see your life? We need to find a way to be more discreet about the way we move. We need to be strong. And trust. But we, we pray for them, so why am trust again? Oh. So we still need to commit them to God specially, so we can have rest over them. Okay. Okay, my friend. God bless you. Yeah, I relate this to my wife, and I really believe them. Um, this is the lasting solution. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. I'm sure you're better now, sir. Thanks, yes. I just I'm fine. I'm just a bit weak. But um once I take my prescriptions out, I should be okay. Any good news? I'm afraid, but Let's be very hopeful. No, I think you don't have to bother yourself with work for now. I think your health is uh, most important at the moment, and mm -hmm. I hope you recover very soon. Though we missed you anyway. Thank you very much. Um, I'm so glad I have guys like you working with me and, and for me. And my prayer is that God will take care of everything that concerns you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Well, we have to leave now. We have a lot of work on our desk. Okay. And it's good to see you, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Take care of yourself, sir. Thank you very much. I'm so happy, man. Ah, you know what? I need to quickly see him. Okay, yeah, I'll that's fine. We'll join you. Will you wait okay. for me? Yeah. I think you meet me at my office. Okay, that's fine. I'll All see right. you. All right. Uh, something? I'm sorry, sir. Uh, as I was leaving, the Holy Spirit just dropped something in my mind, and I felt it would be, it would be nice for me to share with you, sir. I'm also a Christian. Yeah, I know, sir. And uh, I, 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 I felt there is something you are not doing. What would that be? Will it help my business? Definitely, yes. I thought uh, you've not been entrusting your business into God's hands. Entrusting? Yes. Because God always minds his business when you entrust 
puts your business into God's hands, then God will take over the business and it will become ease and everything will start falling in, uh, into place. But God knows I, I run a business, so... He, he, he doesn't do it. Uh, you know, the Bible says you should ask and it shall be given. He doesn't, anything that you don't want trust in his hands, uh, he, he always mind his own business. So I feel you need to involve God. So how do I go about it? You entrust it and pray to God to take over your business and he will take over it and he will perfect everything. Hmm. <laughs> I never thought about this. Hmm. I only believe in hard work. I know. Yeah, you know hard work has a limit. Hmm. There is a limit hard work could do. Hmm. Hard work can only take you to a level, but it is God that can sustain you. Hmm. So it is when you entrust everything in its hands that it makes sure that everything falls in line for you. Hmm. Hmm. God bless you for this. Thank you very much. Sir. I never really gave you the thoughts. Yeah. I thought once you get born again, every other thing works out for you. Hmm. Hmm. Now I know. So what do I need to do? And that makes it easy that you say you're a born again Christian now. Yeah. All you have to do is to pray. And then trust everything that has to do with you into God's hands. And it will take it over from you. And it will take you to the expected end. Lines will begin to fall in place. Mm. Thank you very much for this. Thank God, sir. Mm. Now that I know, I think I, I'm very grateful. Yeah, you're welcome, sir. God yeah. bless you. Yeah, thank I you very think much. I will have to take my leave now. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, I wish you quick recovery, sir. Thank you very much. All right, sir. Mm. My darling, I am so happy. I am so full of joy. God has made a complete turn around in my home. In these past three weeks, what I had prayed to God for for years, suddenly God did it. He is an awesome God. I am so excited. Finally, I am at peace. Mom, Dad, mm? with all sincerity, we pretended so we can make you happy. Uh -uh. <laughs> Mom, Dad, relax. <sighs> the things that we craved are of the past. We don't need them anymore. Ooh. Honestly, I thought it was just me until he told me. Like a couple of days ago, like for the past two weeks, we've been addicted to the Bible and the Word of God like ah, never before. Hallelujah. Dear, ah, this God is awesome. Yes, yes. You see? Yes, yes. I just noticed that just as my friend instructed that we do, and everything is turning out like this. Instructions? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Ah, uh, a friend of mine that, you know, he was bothered, we were talking and he said he has an answer that all we need to do is to entrust you to God's hands that everything will work out well and that all that we think that we own, we commit to God's hands that entrust into his hands and that everything will just turn around for good. And here we are. Wow. Hmm. We prayed, yes. We laid it at his feet, yes. And God did it. Hmm. Hmm. And thus, that reminds me, and it brings Psalm 127, verse 1 to mind. And it says, Except the Lord build the house, yes. the workmen build but in vain. Except the Lord watches over the city. The watchmen wicked, but in vain. Ah, 
and God is awesome. God is awesome. Hmm. God is great. Mm. He is great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. He's great. Francis, yes, come in with Peter right now. Yeah, come in. I've got good news for you. <sighs> sir, what's the good news, sir? <sighs> is that not it? This was is lovely. Hallelujah. I just got a call from the manager of DD and right now that half of the money. That we're supposed to have been paid, which was taken away from us, has been granted. Wow. And that the company was not shut down because of finances. Wow. Praise God. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. Hallelujah. Wow. And that we wow. don't need to come to their office for the money. Somebody is bringing the check. Wow. wow. This, is, ew, this, is, this is wonderful. This is a lot doing. It is marvelous in our sight. This is huge. Wow. This is it. <laughs> and you know what? Yeah. I never expect. I've taken my mind of it. Wow. Wow. I never Congrats, boss. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. sir. Congrats. Oh, wow. That's God at work, you know. It's a beautiful Jesus, work. thank you. Wow. wow. Can you share the good news with yes. us? Yes. I just got a text right now. Oh, wow. 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 Awesome. Wow. 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 And this is awesome! Mm. Another good word! Congratulations, boss! Thank you! Jesus. Wow! This is awesome! Is wow! God is great! Congratulations, sir! Congratulations, Congratulations boss! Wait, this can yeah. only be God! It can only be God! Where did I tell you this? Can you imagine that this one I got a text from right now? Yeah? Was the proposal... You didn't get... I, did, I didn't involve you! Yeah? I did with little effort! Wow! And, you know, just like you said, I chose to commit it to God's hands, Mm. And I sent it in. It's one of the biggest mm. companies, Rock of Ages. Wow. And we had to bid with some very, very big and known companies. Really? Mm. But when I sent it in, I said one thing. I said, God, I just want oh, your favor. Thank you, Lord. This and this you came Lord. through. Thank this you, is Lord. unbelievable. It wow. is. Yes, this God can only be God. This God is turning God our fortune around it. in God this company. Wow. wow. God did wow. This. This must be the God factor you've been talking about. God, exactly. thank you. <laughs> yes. Exactly. And let me tell you, from now on, <laughs> our slogan has changed. Yes, sir. To what, In this sir? company, it is now God first and every other thing follow. God, God first God. and every, every other, other thing follow. follow. God first and every other thing this can only be God. It can only be God. Huge contract. What? That's the only way. Lord, we are running to you. Please save the Stop.